Hi, my name is Scott Anderson, and I today am going to share an introduction to the training framework AURA. It is not how much you know, it's how you apply what you know to your life. An introduction to aware, understanding, refine, and apply. The AURA framework was developed and is designed to help organizations build and develop training materials. So first of all, continuing across the great chasm, and I put stairs up the right side of the chasm just to make your life a little easier. But if you think about what we know and what we need to know, there, there's a chasm between those sometimes. As adults, we're sometimes stuck in the what we know phase of life, right? We don't necessarily have the capacity, the ability, and frankly, the interest in jumping the chasm. So we have to figure out ways to help people move across the chasm. That's what Aura does for you. Now, Aura that we're gonna talk about today is focused on the concepts of AI. And by AI, I'm of course referring to artificial intelligence. Aware is the first phase of the Aura model and we're going to talk a little bit about figuring out how to help an organization understand how to apply training assets for AI. Most important thing however that I always tell people is that first of all some people in your organization are never going to move past aware. They're never going to do all of Aura. They're going to do A. Uh, for them aware is enough and it should be enough. It doesn't require that everybody in the company become uh, an AI expert. But the other side of what this training model helps you do, what this training model builds for you, is it builds capacity. And by capacity in that scenario, what I'm talking about is it tells you who in your company is interested in AI. Uh, people with an interest, people with a desire to learn, will learn. That's what Aura helps you with. So it helps the learner gain the skills that they need to be successful, and it helps the company figure out who's really excited about AI. So, wait, Aura, is this some kind of new age crystal-based training? Uh, right, we've all dealt with those, we've all heard of those, right? Uh, really it's not, and I've already told you the four steps, but I'll do it one more time just to kind of reinforce it. Uh, it's aware, understand, refine, and apply. If you think about it, aware is opening the door, Understand is walking through the door and taking off your coat. Refine is introducing yourself to the people inside of the room where you were going. And apply is where you do the activity that you went to the location for, right? That's the simple process, the simple way of thinking about it. Um, basically, it's a training model. And the goal and the phases build upon each other, aware, is built on by understanding. Understanding is built on by refine and refine is built on by apply. We're gonna use some feedback loops though. And you may have users, as I said, that never leave aware. They simply spin forever in the aware phase and that's perfectly acceptable. You have users that may go aware to understand and back to aware to understand, back to aware to understand and then go to refine. Uh, they, or they may never go to refine. So just understand that none of these levels require the next level. All of these levels build on the last level. And it's all about, you know, where do you need to go as a learner? So you'll notice in this scenario, it's laid out as a continuous feedback loop. Truly, the loop is continuously evolving. It is continuously uh, moving. It is continuously uh, driving in the direction uh, that the solution has in front of you. So again, aware, understand, refine and apply, constant feedback loop. So in that scenario, you may finish aware and move to understand. You may finish aware, come back to it and go, I just don't get what I'm trying. I don't, I don't have any passion for this. You may do aware again, you may be done. Some people in your company may do aware one time through, do everything that they're interested in, find out they don't care about AI and move on, right? That's perfectly acceptable. 
the goal of this solution is not to force people to become AI scientists building uh, chatbots trying to take over the world. The goal of this model is to help people get rid of the fear of AI, to understand what AI is, and of course, to help the company figure out who in our organization really likes AI. The next, right? How can I be successful using the model? It's an interesting problem, right? But, you know, first of all, you have to acknowledge your personal bias, right? Everybody has a bias. And we're going to talk a little bit at, at the end here about one of the components that we use to build this model. But one of the things that we have to think about, right, is there are different types of people in your organization. Right. You got the people and you know who they are. When a new technology comes out, everybody in the in the office goes to that person and says, what do you think of it? Are you using it? Do you like it? Right. You've got people that, you know, when something new comes out, they'll consider it. Right. Oh, I'm thinking about the new iPhone 22. Um, I haven't bought it yet, but I'm thinking about it. Um, you know, then you've got uh the person that, you know, when something new comes out, they go to their friends who are, you know, either looking at it or already using it. And then, you know, the last group is, you know, something new comes out and the group of people just ignore it. So you have to understand your bias. Where are you in the pantheon of adopting technology uh, in your organization? The other thing is you have to understand why do you want to learn about AI? Uh, a lot of people learn about AI because they're scared. There's a fear, right? It's going to take my job. Yeah, that's one. That's a very valid reason to learn about AI. The other one is your boss said so, right? That happens sometimes. My company said so, right? That also happens. Um, you're naturally curious. What's new? What's out there? What can I do with it? What is it? What is it about? How does it grow? What can I do? Uh, and then, you know, Ultimately, the last one, you know, you thought I was going to give out candy, hence the bowl of candy. And if you can, by the way, reach into your screen and get that candy, then it's all yours. Help yourself. Have a handful. Um, what is Aura based on? Well, Aura is based on two distinct components. One, from my personal background, uh, I am an educator by training, uh, and I grew up in a household where uh, Jean Piaget uh, was considered one of the leading thinkers in the educational field. Um, in particular, the concepts that he created about the learning and development of learning within human beings. Um, most of us as adults are well past uh, the stages that Piaget put together. But the important thing is to consider the fact that as an adult learner, you still have stages, and that's what Aura helps you do, is take your need or your structure or your stages and apply them to what you're trying to learn. The other thing that Aura is based on is John Richard Boyd. John Boyd uh, is a creator uh, of a process called the OODA loops. He was a colonel in the United States Air Force. He's also famous, by the way, for creating a jet plane. And uh, frankly, uh, as a pilot in the U.S. Air Force, uh, he was called the 62nd man. No one ever beat him in a dogfight. Um, his entire flying career, no one ever beat him. Just because John Boy did one thing and did one thing exceptionally well. He knew the parameters and capabilities of the airplane he was flying to a point where he could understand it. And that's where from there he created the concept of OODA loops. Observe, orient, decide, act. It's a structural decision-making process. But layered on top of that are feedback loops. And we use the feedback loops in the Aura process to help people understand, are you ready to move on? Do you need to go repeat something? Are you bored and it's time to do something else? So John Boyd is part of the components of what we call the Aura framework. So what happens next? Right. Well, first of all, you know, the AWARE component has been released. Uh, most of it, not all of it. A uh, chunk of AWARE has been released. It's available on LinkedIn. If you're interested, send me a mail. Uh, you know, look up me up on social media, uh, at Doc Anderson. I'm happy to send you uh, a link to the AWARE 
article, you're welcome to use the, the, the initial pieces of AWARE. There are parts of AWARE that are not available and never will be uh, unless you reach out to me and, and we come to an agreement um, where there are pieces, parts that have to be put into place to move from AWARE to understanding, to build the understanding framework. Um, and really and truly, you know, to help your organization uh, move forward in the training world. So, as I said, AWARE is available today. Uh, it is something that, you know, I will, I've given away. It's out on LinkedIn. Uh, ping me if you have information or uh, questions or want to learn more about the model. And with that note, thank you very much today for spending time with me. Uh, I'm going to continue this series of articles and uh, uh, presentations. And uh, who knows, maybe, uh, maybe they'll start getting better.